morning guys i'm actually running late so i don't even have time to talk but i just want to show you guys my braces real quick yeah so that's what they're looking like after six weeks they don't look too bad actually the coloring let me can see it's not that yellow but that's because my teeth are yellow so they're just blending in <laughs> So yeah, um, today I'm getting my bottom braces on, so I'm literally going to rush to get there now, and yeah, I'm going to record everything as well, and let them know in advance that I'm going to record. So as you can see, my teeth are pretty straight at top, looking really good, there's some gapping, some gaps there like that tooth is completely isolated. No pain, I've not had any pain for about three weeks, and only until the other day, this canine started hurting. But yeah, I don't think there's any movement happening right now because my teeth feel quite firm. They quite feel quite solid in my head. They don't feel like they're dropping out <laughs> like before. But yeah, off we pop. <laughs> Not happy. Hi. Okay, this cat is fighting me for my chair. Bella. My turn. Yeah, you caught on camera to show the world how weird you are. <laughs> yeah, go get it. You heard that buzzing too. Go get it. She's going to be doing that throughout the whole video, so let's continue. Okay, so there's train strikes. So yeah, there was train strikes today. The way I rushed to get to the bus stop, plane sailing from there, and I thought, yeah, I've got five minutes to get the train on time i was actually on time for the first time in my life everything was going smooth i knew there was something wrong but yeah train strikes am i living under a rock like how did i not know there were train strikes i would have made more time to get the bus <sighs> so i didn't get my bottom braces today obviously and i've rescheduled my appointment in two weeks time I'm a little bit bummed out, I'm not gonna lie, because I just want this process to be quick. It feels like it's a waste of two weeks. <sighs> I feel like I'm complaining a bit too much. So let me just chill. I'm gonna chill. Probably gonna go back to bed after this video because I just I feel stressed out to the max. Anyways, let's just turn this into an update video then I guess. So what's been happening in the past six weeks? The pain stopped about three weeks to where I can chew without any pain. That's when I started feeling enjoyment again with food because it was a struggle for me. I'm not gonna lie, like to eat and to enjoy the food as well because it just felt like I was, I don't know, like just chopping and swallowing in a way. My bite, I couldn't bite down properly like now I can, but before I couldn't bite down. I had like a cross bite like this. So it wasn't allowing me to bite fully down actually in that case i'm going to enjoy these two weeks with food i'm just going to chew as much as i can because i know that once i get my bottom braces on it's going to hurt like hell again so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna try and enjoy as much food as possible i don't know what it is about me and food like i have to enjoy the whole experience for me to feel like i've had a good meal it doesn't matter how good it tastes like if i'm not sitting down and i see my food in like good lighting and i'm eating slowly and chewing and savoring all the flavors then i don't feel like i've had a good meal foodie i'm foodie i don't eat a lot but i like to enjoy my meals in regards to pain around my mouth as in cuts and what's it grazes i don't know what to call it but the wire at the back on this side was irritating me for a long time i haven't used wax for about three weeks three yeah about three weeks now the wire has actually gone it's not sticking out but it's completely gone from the back where it was rubbing on my gums so yeah maybe it's because of the gaps that's occurring here i don't know so yeah i haven't had any pain from cuts for a while every now and again the wire does get stuck or the, the brace even like my cheeks get stuck onto the brackets but it's just like a quick adjustment it's like when i smile too broadly or i laugh like if my full haha <laughs> like that then it gets caught when my mouth goes back down teeth structure has changed a lot 
if my top row was like this i wouldn't be unhappy about my teeth apart from the gaps obviously because i didn't have gaps before even that gap here there's not been much changes with my canines at all i haven't felt pain apart from two days ago on my canines at all like didn't feel any pain or any movement but i think they are the hardest to move other than the molars if i'm not incorrect art wise looks pretty good as well my arch wasn't that bad but it was like these two front teeth they're pushed forward and these are pushed back so it made my front teeth look more prominent but that's all rounded out now look very very happy about that i think my midline on my teeth is a bit wonky it's a bit off oh well it straightened itself out then because before it was a bit like this like that that's apparently sorted itself out. I was a bit worried at one time because I didn't want to cause any um, issues with my jaw because I was starting to get like jaw pain like here because of the um, off bite. I went to my dentist for a checkup. He said my gums are looking really good. So I was happy about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for pain. But as I mentioned, like this tea canine and the one behind it, they were starting to hurt me. I bit into some food and it hurt. So I'm just gonna not try to bite with that tooth. Bella, oh God, she's still at it, you know? Bella, I am sitting on this chair. I don't know why she's trying to bully me for the chair. Nobody told me that having a cat is like having a toddler. She doesn't listen. <laughs> she actually doesn't listen. She just looks at me blank look. That's pretty much it for pain. Movement, I haven't seen any movement from, I would say, week three again is when I stopped seeing any sort of movement or any changes. So these gaps have been there for pretty much from the start. Same with this one. At first it went really tight and then it kind of eased up and there's a gap now. Oh, this tooth is a bit sensitive today. This one and this one. I haven't felt much movement with my molars, my molars either, but obviously in the beginning they were hurting so some movement must have occurred. My top arch wasn't bad anyway with my molars, it's the bottom row that I'm more concerned about with the movement. See, yeah, that's what I want changed. Yeah, so I went to a wedding recently with my braces for the first time and my family, my whole family see me with them. Um, a lot of people didn't recognise at first which was great and the people who did realize said they wasn't very visible at all and a few people even asked me like why have you got braces why do you need braces but they probably don't even notice the change that's happening already they're probably just seeing oh she's got braces on straight teeth why but they were crooked before so they will see the before and afters anyway what else food okay so i've been eating everything anything even like pizza crust and baguettes and stuff but what i make sure to do is not to bite into it i had curry goat at the wedding it didn't stain it that much for one bout of curry i've not had any curry throughout this whole time <laughs> yeah so i'll probably go get some thai food um between these two weeks because that's probably the only food that i avoid eating is curry and so we haven't made curry chicken or curry goat in the house or anything curry curry prawns just because i know that turmeric is going to stain it's going to stain like out of everything else it's going to stain i've had bolognese i've had tomato based foods and it's not stained i've had coffee i was drinking through a straw for the first few weeks and i just said you know what i like to sip my coffee so i stopped using a straw i eat everything <laughs> And any hard foods like apples or baguette, even crisp even, I just make sure not to bite the front and just put it in the back of my mouth. You know, like break a piece off and put it in the back of my mouth. Nothing's really off limits for me, but obviously anything too hard, I'm gonna try not to eat. Like pretzels, for instance. Pretzels was quite difficult for me to eat, even two weeks ago. I tried a chocolate pretzel and it was too hard for me to eat, so. Yeah, I've not had any nuts either, no nuts. I've had smoothies, I've had meal replacement shakes, I've had salads, everything. I eat like normal and it's fine. And with the eating, is the cleaning. 
which is supposed to happen every time you eat and I have been struggling I'm not gonna lie I've been struggling to keep up with cleaning my teeth every time I eat I feel like I probably would have struggled with Invisalign doing that and I probably would just not eat because that seems very long having to brush your teeth every time you eat <sighs> I can't imagine it I eat about three times a day so lunch and dinner I'll have a meal replacement shake in the morning with a coffee and in between that I might have a piece of fruit like banana or some grapes or strawberries I definitely don't brush my teeth every time I have the snacks lunch time most of the time gets missed out with brushing as well I swish my mouth out with water and if I am at home I do swish my mouth out with mouthwash as well but the brushing every time you eat is just it's difficult for me to stick to but what I have been trying to stick to doing is making sure to floss at night every night and use my water floss at night every night as well so I don't just do either or I actually do both so floss and water floss I've got a whole little routine going on so I will record that for you guys when I get a chance to <laughs> I was actually gonna put you know the the teeth staining solution in my mouth yesterday to show you guys how I clean my teeth I'm so glad that I did it because I literally would have red <laughs> elastics right now I don't know if I will bother doing it now because I can't rely on the trains unless I'm getting a lift and, I'm, and I know that I will get there the next day so with the eating as well I found that I was like mushing food with the roof of my mouth because I couldn't chew it so like sucking it and then chewing it which is really really annoying i like to chew my food and i like to chew it until it's you know masticated and you swallow and it digests properly in your stomach chew your food at least 15 to 20 times and then swallow okay <laughs> so yeah that's food i don't know if i mentioned it in my other videos but i was having problems you know when it was like a cross bite I was having problems sleeping because it wouldn't bite like that it was quite uncomfortable for my jaw to rest on it because I sleep on my side and it was quite difficult because it was just like not together yeah it was a bit uncomfortable and my jaw was hurting me a lot as well not too much I'm not taking any medication in these six weeks for pain i'm gonna try not to have pain relief throughout my whole racist experience unless it's really really painful so yeah that was annoying the sleep thing my speech oh my speech has got a lot better like i feel like it's normal now i still got a lisp i've always had a lisp a small i can't even say small without a small lisp <laughs> i noticed it even more when i watch my videos back when I'm editing that is still there but I can talk properly without the brace feeling like it's affecting my speech it's quite hard to explain but it was like my mouth wasn't used to having the brace there so it's got used to having the brace there so movement is normal now my lip still gets caught sometimes like that but I'm not constantly doing this like I was doing before or at least I don't feel like I do it a lot Maybe I do. Maybe it's just natural for me now. But <laughs> I feel much more comfortable with them in my mouth. I can still feel them, you know, rubbing on my lip. But it just feels like plastic. I don't know how the metal ones would feel. But I would assume they would feel a bit smoother than ceramics. I don't even think my lip looks too protrudent. Protrudent? Is that a word? It's not protruding as much as it was when I first got them. Or maybe I've just got used to my face now. Looking in the viewfinder now, I can't actually see my braces at all. Even smiling like this. And I love it. Yeah, the wire. Oh yes, let's talk about the wire. So the wire has gone completely silver. Don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get it close up. As you can see, it's silver. So the white coating has come off the wire. So it's not clear it's a silver wire now but i will still continue to get the white wire because it gives me more of an aesthetic look for at least a week or two before it starts coming off it didn't really get like patchy like some people said it looks like black pepper on the wire or 
it just literally came off all at once i don't know if it was like in one bout of brushing or not but i just noticed one day that oh the wire is silver but even then the silver wire doesn't actually look that bad with the clear braces it still doesn't look obvious but i do feel like once i get my bottom braces it's going to be a lot more obvious i got braces <laughs> Because only the front six is going to be ceramic and then you'll be able to see some metal on my mouth. And as you can see, my smile is very wide and bright. I smile with all my teeth. <laughs> so yes, I need a perfect smile to match my wide smile, you know? I forgot to say, I feel like this midline is a bit off. These two front teeth, the midline here, I feel like it's a bit off. Because if you look where my nose and my lip is, and even this nib bit, it's not in the center. And do you get what I mean? Like, I almost feel like my teeth are like facing that way ever so slightly. I guess it's all part of the progress anyway, so yeah. A bit too close and personal right now. And obviously, as these front two teeth are straightened out, you can see like how unlevel they are and how different in shape they are. This one's more rounded, this one's more squared up. So yeah, my teeth are yellow. <laughs> my teeth are yellow. Um, I'm only using natural light today, so you get to see like the full view of my teeth. But the only reason why they're blending in so well is because my teeth are yellow. <laughs> so I do feel like if you have white teeth, the yellowness of the elastics are going to show a lot more on your teeth. But I will be whitening my teeth afterwards anyway. It didn't come in my package, but they do have whitening on offer. And I'm going to do a bit of a looking around as well because whitening is expensive. And... Even the in-tray ones are about 150 pounds, I think, or maybe more. 150, I think. And then the in-chair one's 300. But I will be doing it because what's the point in having straight ass teeth and they're not being pearly white? I've never had my teeth white before and this will seem like the perfect time to get my teeth whitened. So yeah. So yeah, that's the end of my update. I will be updating again when I get my braces changed the next time. So it will be about six to eight weeks every time I update you guys. I still be taking pictures and videos of my teeth every week just to see if there's any changes that I didn't notice and just recording my whole braces journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. And if you want to follow my braces journey, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!